Recently, I saw a presentation where the presenter made this mistake. He had some beautiful photos to showcase, but the audience couldn't enjoy the photos for what they are because there was this textual explanation that blocked the view. <laughs> but you cannot avoid these kind of textual explanations on your slides. So how do you solve the issue? I'll tell you, but before that, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. We help professionals like you create engaging presentations. Here is the solution. If the photos you showcase are important for your presentations, like in this case, it was a presentation by an interior designer who wanted to showcase some of his projects, allow the audience to look at the photos for a little bit. And then on a click, you can bring in the explanation. Take a look at the kind of difference in experience. When the audience looks at those photos, they vicariously transport themselves into the scene and they wallow in their dreams. The more time they spend there, the more are the chances that they sign up with you. And if your textual elements are not tastefully placed on the slide, there's a chance that you may not have the kind of impact that you want from your presentation. So how do you create this beautiful and simple layout? That is what I'm going to show you in this video. The first step is to place your photos on the slide in full page. Then let us create the design element that allows us to place our text. I'm going to design a text placeholder using block arrows and this is the shape I'm going to use. It's called arrow pentagon. Let us draw a pentagon shape like so and then adjust the angle like this. Then let us flip it horizontally and place it over here and make sure that a part of this is jutting out of the slide area. If you observe closely, you can see that a portion is outside the slide area and that is very important. The reason is later on when we apply fly-in bounce animation, this element would look awkward if a part of it is not jutting out of the slide area. Then let us create a duplicate of this because we want this piece to be there for us later on. While holding the control button, let us click and drag this so we create this strip. Can you see here? This is the strip we want. So let us select this outer piece, hold the shift button down and select the inner piece. Then go to merge shapes. You can find that in shape format, merge shapes and say shape subtract. Now this is the piece that we are going to have at the start. Make another copy by pressing control D and then place it right next to the previous one. And then you cut this piece from the previous one, press control V and then move it with a little bit of gap and make sure that you adjust everything properly. So select all these three pieces, align middle and place them in such a way that they occupy the entire width of the slide. Then let us go to shape outline, no outline. Now the next step is very important. If you want this design to be pleasing to the eye, then you need to use colors that are part of the photo. Let me show you what I mean by that. First, let me select this outer piece. Go to shape fill, go to eyedropper tool and then pick one of the colors from here. I'm going to choose this brown color of the desk and I have it here. Then let us select this, go to eyedropper tool again and choose some kind of an orange color here. Nice. The next one, eyedropper tool and pick a very dark color because we want our text to be here. You can place the text on the slide. And then when I go to slideshow, this is what my audience would see. And there is one more thing we need to do to make sure that this design seamlessly integrates with the rest of the slide. And that is to make the eye land on the text element slowly. We achieve that by changing the transparency levels. Let us select this outer strip, right click, go to format shape, go to fill, and add a transparency of 50%. Then let us select the second piece and add a transparency of 30%. And then to this, let us add a transparency of 5%. Why do we need to do that? When the eye moves from this to the text, you can see that there is a gradual progression of the transparency levels. And even here, we have ensured that a part of the design shows through because if you remember, the photos are very important to showcase in this specific presentation and therefore we need to be conscious of that fact when we design our slide. Then comes the animation part. First, we need to have the text and this holding piece to be grouped together by pressing Ctrl G and then we don't want all the pieces to come in at the same time. So while holding the shift button, you select all these three pieces, go to animations, go to fly in animation and they need to be flying in from right and we need to have a duration of 0.75 seconds 
and let us go to animation pane and we see that all these three elements are coming together we want it delayed a little bit so 0.1 second delay for the second one and for the third one 0.2 seconds delay so they come in one after another and then let us select all three of them and go to effect options and add a bounce end somewhere around 0.5 seconds and say ok so that is how they come into the scene when I go to slideshow I give time for the audience to take in the image and then I bring in my text element and the design looks beautiful. Now you need to apply transition so the eye naturally moves in the direction that we have shown here. That means for the second and the third slides or whatever number of slides that follow we need to use a push transition that happens from right. So when I go here and go to slideshow after I showcase the text the movement follows the movement of the eye. Then that is exactly what I did for the rest of the slides as well. And you can see that it is the same transparency difference and the same placement of text and the result looks like this. It's a very easy design to create for yourself and it will definitely impress your audience. If you want to learn full courses that allow you to master PowerPoint and come up with creative ideas to impress your audience, then you can check out our program called Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program. I will leave a link in the description box below the video. In the meantime, do you want to learn some simple and creative PowerPoint ideas you can use in your next presentation? Then click on the link here to join our five day free email course called 25 Creative PowerPoint Ideas. These are simple, quick and useful PowerPoint ideas I have not shared elsewhere. So go ahead, click on the link, join the course and I will see you inside.